Does the Bible say spanking is okay or is it sinful? Spanking is a sin when done out of anger. The Bible says to not sin in your anger. In other words, reacting out of your sin nature is against God's perfect will for loving relationships. A child does not feel safe when parents don't control their emotions. When parents feel frustrated, fearful, and tired, they should not spank. Discipline your son while there is hope, but do not. Indulge your angry resentments by undue chastisements and set yourself to his ruin. Proverbs 19 verse 18 Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Proverbs 22 verse 6 Training children is the hardest job any parent will ever have. God gives us his children to nurture and to show them the ways of Christian living. Children need correction when they do wrong and it's our job to show them how to respond. A respectful hand spanking lets a child know that it's not okay to keep on doing the wrong thing after you have been told not to. However, most parents find more cooperation from their children when they tell them what to do instead of what not to do. Spanking can also be implemented when a child doesn't do what they've been told to do and they intentionally ignore instruction. How should Christians respond to spanking? Christians must have knowledge and understanding about the emotional, social, and spiritual well-being of children's needs. As Christians, we must look at the battles our children are faced with today. They need more from us than just a hand spanking. Children's hearts are broken, confused, abandoned, and our culture is very reckless in caring about what they advertise to children. God has called us to love, to be completely humble and gentle, be patient bearing with one another in love Ephesians 4 verse 2 the best thing we can do for our children is to train them to love by loving them and showing love to others love is patient love is kind it does not envy it does not boast it is not proud it does not dishonor others it is not self-seeking it is not easily angered it keeps no record of wrongs love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth it always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 to 8. When using spanking, Christians should wait on the Lord for guidance. Parents should pray about their discipline style. Christians need to seek godly counsel with parenting concerns. Leaders in the church need to be trained in child discipleship and provide parents with Christ-centered, biblical information and resources. When should we judge someone's discipline style? We can learn so much from each other about parenting strategies when we stop judging one another over non-abusive issues. We divide ourselves from one another when we argue over the right discipline approach. We need to realize that we are all on the same team and we need to fight for our children together. When parents are abusing their child, it's our obligation as individuals to report it. Abusive parents need correction and care. We all have a responsibility to protect all children. Some discipline practices are mean, cruel, punitive, and completely evil. Abuse needs to be stopped and every child has the right to be safe, respected, and cared for. No child's sinful action deserves abuse. We must remember that Christ paid for our sin and children need parents to give them grace. It's the abusive parents that have given spanking a horrible reputation. It's important to have rules around spanking and that is why I came up with respectful hand spanking. Acting out in anger is a sin and it causes harm to others. But respectful hand spanking is one out of a million discipline strategies that correct behavior without harming the child. God calls us to discipline our children. Let's do it with respect. Parents, we need to give each other grace and not be so quick to judge the mom whose kid is screaming in the grocery store or the dad whose son is handcuffed and taken to jail. Don't jump to conclusions when a parent is walking their child to the car in the cold winter without a coat. Maybe the child refused the coat and it's under the seat in the car. Please be kind to one another when talking about issues around spanking and what the Bible says about disciplining our children. There are many opinions on the subject of spanking and Christians are fighting over it. Let's communicate with Christ's love at the center of every decision we make.